Hi everyone, this is Sunny Kumar from IIT BHU and welcome to our channel Code with Sunny. And today I am going to discuss the second problem of February circuits 2021. And let's jump directly into the problem statement without wasting our time. Okay. So in this problem, we have been given an array A of n elements and which is actually a permutation of the first n elements. Okay. Now we are required to perform the following operation exactly one time. That is, we must have to do this operation a uh, single time. Okay. That is, what are the operations? That is, there is a single operation. We are going to select two different indices i and j, and i should be less than j. That is, i should be strictly less than j, and we have to swap the elements at these indices. Now, our task is to find the lexicographically smallest array that uh, we can achieve. So, we have to print the smallest array in terms of lexicographic and we have to print that array after performing a single operation note that this operation is compulsory note the word exactly and we have to print the lexicographically smallest array and the input are number of test cases n denoting the size of the array and the n space separated integers of the array now we have to print t lines for each test case we have to print the lexicographically smallest permutation A that we can achieve by applying this operation that is select two distinct indices and swap the elements at these indices and we have to print the smallest permutation A that we can achieve. So how we are going to do this problem, how we are going to analyze this problem and what would be our approach. Let's move further. Okay, so let me zoom out this. Okay, so what is actually given in this question? Let's understand this first. So we have an n, uh, we have an, an array of n elements where uh, elements form a permutation, and we have to do a what a single operation, swap any two distinct indices such that given array becomes the lexicographically smallest array that we can form. So first understand what is the meaning of lexicographically smallest uh, array. So Suppose we have an array like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 5. Okay. Now the look at the let, let, uh, let us have an, another array something like uh, let's say 2, 5, 7, 8, 9. Okay. Now uh, let's uh, let me write the this is my array 1 and similarly this is my array 2. Okay. Now uh, for the uh, so to decide which array is the lexicographically minimum, find the first index starting from the left side for both the arrays where the what where the index where the element is not going to match. So you can see the first index that is one and two. That is the at first index the first array has one and second array has two. And if the first uh, that is one is less than two, so this is going to be what lexicographically minimum why this is lexicographically minimum because we have to find the first index such that the elements do not match and the element which is minimum is our lexicographically minimum array okay now you can see this is the lexicographically minimum array and suppose uh, here we can write suppose here we have one or you can say here we have two again so then also this is lexicographically minimum because second at first index elements are going to match but at second index you can see the first array is uh, having lesser elements so this is what lexicographically minimum now jumping uh, into my actual example of this problem okay so let's understand that also we have n equal to 5 the number of elements is 5 and note that the uh, element if n is going to 5 we have the elements like this and they are actually what permutation so you can see if we have an array this this is actually permutation of first five elements of this array that is first five elements one two three four five and we have to find the what we have to find the lexicographically minimum array so what would be the lexicographically least minimum that is suppose our array let me write sorted array Suppose our sorted array is what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So can you find the lexicographically 
lesser or you can say lexicographically minimum than this array yeah, then this is uh, what we cannot find because this is uh, this array is sorted in ascending order and this array is sorted in ascending order then this is the lexicographically minimum array that we can achieve from this permutation okay so what i have done here till now is i have sorted the array and after sorting the array we have this and now this is the what this is the lexicographically minimum okay this is the lexicographically minimum array now our goal is goal is make the actual array similar to the sorted array as above okay so what would be our goal that is smallest permutation is yeah we are always trying to make this array that is 5 1 3 4 2 just looking similar to this array that is 5 must be replaced by what 1 okay so uh, what is our next approach would be we are going to find out where is the position of element 1 and where is the position of element 5 because our goal is to make put the element 1 in the starting of the array that is at index equal to 1 so i am going to swap 5 and swap 1 so it would cost me a single operation okay so i am going to write it swap 5 and 1 and why i am going to swap this uh, our goal is to make our original array equal to sorted array so our goal is to make uh, or our original array equal to sorted array that's why i'm going to uh, so what going to swap the element 5 and element 1 so that uh, one is uh, going to come at what index equal to 1 okay so if i am going to swap this then our new array would be like 1 5 3 4 2 and this is a what this is what this is our answer for this problem because we need to do only a single operation okay exactly one time so i am going to do this and suppose oh, okay let us move to the next example then i am going to make uh, what some more good examples for better understanding Note that here uh, the arrays, arrays what already sorted. So uh, we need to do a single operation. To do a single operation. So what would be our uh, operation in this case? Note that this is already the lexicographically minimum array that we can achieve but we need to do a single operation so for that i am going to swap the last two elements because swapping the last two elements would give the what next uh, that is you can say next lexicographically greater than this array 1 2 3 4 5 6 so if the array is already sorted so what we need to do is we are uh, intended to swap the last two elements so i am going to write swap last two elements or you can say uh, swap last two elements of the array okay so this would be our what this would be our answer and uh, let me take some tricky example so i am going to write here n equal to 4 and in this case uh, we have an let's say we have an example like 1 2 and 4 3 so what i am going to do is i am going to sort the array first sort the array first so what would we have here we have 1 2 3 4 Okay, now if we, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, now I am going to check at which index we have the elements are differing with my actual array. So you can see uh, 1, 1 is going to match with 1, 2 is going to match with 2 and we have 4 being mismatched with 3. So this uh, is going to be swapped, that is 3 must be swapped with 4. So I am going to find the index of what 3 and index of 4 and swap the elements at these indexes okay so i'm going to what i'm going to write swap the elements what 4 and 3 so how i'm going to find this which element we have to swap find the first index where it is going to mismatch and swap the elements 
at uh, the corresponding indices that is index of 4 and index of 3 so we have the array like 1 2 3 4 as our what as our answer let me write okay so what would be our approach of to solve this problem so i am going to iterate in my array from 1 to n and store the indices for all the elements in a separate index array why this needs to be done the very first question that my viewers will think because note that we have to find the index then after we are going to swap the element so first we need to know the index of that element so if we maintain the index array for every element then it will be better to access them in o of one time that uh, makes our code much simpler that's why i'm going to pre-calculate the indexes of all the elements and store it in an array and check if array of i is not equal to i note that i have checking here if the sorted array elements at any index i is not equal to what my what actual uh, array then but i am checking here if array of i is not equal to i why uh, the very simple reason is uh, the very simple reason is uh, note that we have here the permutation of the n elements so the elements are always be like 1 2 up to n so if we sort the elements then it would be the like uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 up to n that's why i am going to check if array of i is not equal to i uh, just simple as like that now then we need to swap the current element with i if done then we are done and print the array that is whenever we find the mismatched index element then we are going to swap the current element with i so what would we have to find the index of i and then we have to find the index of this uh, array of i and then we are going to swap the elements at those indices note that we have to done only exactly one operation one operation needs to be done so that's why if i have done with this operation that is first element where the condition is going to be mismatched then i'm going to print the array and break that is we are done and if all the elements of the array satisfy the condition this that is array our array is already sorted in ascending order then but we need to do a single operation so what would be the best possible swapping operation that needs to be done so the best possible operation is to swap the last two elements that would give us the desired answer the, that is the next lexicographically minimum because we have already the lexicographically minimum uh, possible so we need to do a single operation so I am go, so going to swap the what last two elements of the array so what would be the time complexity of this algorithm that is you can say or this approach our time complexity would be O of n why O of n because we are traversing the array single time the whole array the complete array and our space complexity would be O of n why should it would be O of n I am going to write maintaining the index array of what each element that is why I am going to have a space complexity of what O of n so let us move to the code okay now we have a number of test cases as t and for each test case i am going to take input n and here i have an index array i note that i have index array of size n plus 1 because this is our input would be of like permutation so if we maintain an array of size n plus 1 it would satisfy our requirements now now i have an array of again n plus 1 to store the values now i am going to iterate for n times and take the input and I am going to assign the index of the what as a store the index of the elements in an index array and uh, correspondingly I am going to store the array values now I am going to have a boolean variable done or not so what is this boolean variable doing here one thing that you the viewers will think boolean variable is going to check if a, we have swapped an element or not okay if we have swapped an element i am going to make done as true so i am going to iterate in the array and check if array of i is not equal to i that is we have found a mismatched condition that is i am going to swap the element at these indexes and that is what uh, with whom that is i am going to swap the element with my current element and 
the element that needs to be placed here okay that is what i so i'm going to swap array of i and array of index of i and then i am going to break note that i have uh, written index of i because this i must be must be what uh, must be here at index equal to i that's why i'm going to find the index of that element and swap that with the what array of i so i'm going to break because we are done here otherwise if uh, we are we haven't found any mismatched condition it means where the array is sorted in increasing order that is the we have already have the least permutation lexicographically but we need to do a single operation so the best to case would be swap the element at what the extreme positions finally i'm going to print the array that would be what modified array the smallest next permutation you can see mm, so let me submit this code oh sorry i have compiled okay no problem let me submit this code and check out yes it is giving the correct answer so if you have any doubts uh, do not forget to mention in the comment section of the video and i will ask the viewers to like this video share this video and do subscribe to my youtube channel for latest update thank you for watching this video